now i am going to do one thing that is when the paypal will be successful the paypal payment when it will be successful then i will just save the data into the database okay so here there is no database by the paypal now what i will do i will create a table first that means i will create a migration for the table so php artisan make migration and then create for example create payments table and also i am going to create a model so php artisan make model and payments will be table so singular name of that will be payment and this will be my model name so what will be my migration file data i am going to the newly created migration file now that is into the database and then migrations and then this one so in this file now i will add the fields what payment information i will need for example i will use the payment id okay so payment id is one data and then i am going to give another name that is for example product name product name another one it can be the quantity so it can be quantity after that there will be for example the payment amount so like this and another one currency is also good it can be happened and then some pair information for example pair um, name i can save it also pair email i can get it and then payment status for example i will need and another one is for example the payment method so here payment method so this data i can add so here i am going to terminal php artisan migrate it is asking me if i want to create any database by the name paypal or not so i select the yes enter so two things will be happened one is the database is created here so i am going to refresh you see the paypal now comes here and also in the database the payments table has been created so two things has been happened okay so payment id all the information are given here now i will save the data into my database so in the paypal controller when everything is okay that means the response data is in my hand i am again going there so that you can understand so here pay with paypal i am going to click here and then it is going to take me to the paypal okay continue to review the order okay so when uh, it is done you see then there are some information one is response id response status etc right so here instead of dd i am going to put something for example i am going to check if is set then response uh, for example response status response of a status it will be okay response status if there is any value in the response status and also i am going to check if the response status response status equal equal completed right so completed why because you see the status is completed so of course the status will be completed when a transaction is successful so response status is completed if this happens then only i will do the things and if it does not happen then i will return that means else i will return redirect to the cancel route and in the cancel route what i can do i can just uh, use here something a message that is for example payment is uh, cancelled it can be happen no problem and when the payment will be successful here it will say that is the return uh, here i straight write the message that is payment is uh, successful okay successful 
so this is done uh, now when the payment is successful in this position i will insert data into database so this will be very excellent thing and you will enjoy i hope and um, but uh, before going to proceed with that i am going to discuss one thing how i can get the payment um, information that means how i can get the product name you see the um, the product name was into the main item for example here you see there is a product name that is laptop i want to save that product name into my database but when you are jumping from here that is you are into the paypal so when you are going to the outside link that means into the paypal and the response back as a success how you will be able to get the product name so in order to solve this issue when i am going to send the data to the paypal url here i will use a session variable so i will use a session variable here that is i will put into the session variable that is product name the uh, product name is request request of product name i am going to check the welcome you see the product name variable is containing the laptop in the hidden field and the price is containing i already worked with that quantity is one so here i will take the product name and quantity so in the paypal controller here session put here will be product name this will be request of product name that comes into this request and similarly i will call another session variable that is for example quantity so quantity will uh, take the request of quantity so this session variable i also have in my hand in this position right and when the payment is successful everything is okay then i will just unset the session that means here i will uh, unset which session uh, here i will unset the session of product name and another one is session of quantity i can easily unset from here now i will insert the data into the database here so you know my database insertion code is something like that payment equal to new payment i am going to use the eloquent orm so here in the top i will have to you i will have to call the model that i have um, made that is payment model so here mm, this is the payment payment equal to new payment that is okay so all the item i will have to um, insert here that is response of id that is actually the payment id if i go to the table you see there is a field that is payment id product name quantity amount right so next one is product name product name equal to session of get product name because i have the product name session data in my hand then another one is quantity that is also the session variable value then there is amount amount equal to this one let's check if it works uh, it is uh, perfect or not response where is amount so let's now check this one where it came so it is a purchase unit zero purchase unit zero payments captures so purchase unit zero here will be payments there will be captures so like this payments captures and then there is another zero zero of amount zero amount value so here will be uh, zero then there will be amount and then value this is actually the main amount so similar thing i am going to use for the currency zero amount currency code you see there is another one that is amount currency code so usd so i get also uh, usd in my hand and this will be set up as payment currency okay so amount currency what are the other data in my database mm, quantity amount currency then pair name email payment status payment method so here it will be pair uh, pair name pair name equal to pair name given name if it works or not let's check it i am now going to here in the response so here the name will be pair so here it will come to the pair name and into the name there are two types of name given name and surname so pair name given name 
uh, first name I am going to put the last name I actually do not need so pair response of pair name given name so this is the pair name okay after that similarly the pair email address uh, pair mm, then there will be email address let's check it this is pair and if I close it it is email address okay so it comes here now after that um, there is payment status so payment status equal to response status and last one is payment method so payment method i am going to close it it will be a straight that is paypal i can write the paypal here and i lastly it will be payment of save okay so the data will be inserted into the database in this system so let's check it from the beginning again so i am going to close it and now there is no data into the database first time i am going to click on the pay with paypal and then the price is five dollar is okay now i am going to click on review order on oh, now the payment yes payment is successful if i now go here refresh the database you see that the data is inserted into here perfectly so payment id is this product name laptop quantity one amount five currency pair name is this pair email account is this uh, who paid you see this is my personal email account and uh, using the personal account i paid here so it is coming here payment status completed payment method is paypal and created date so it is perfectly working here you see